Hey, what's up guys? Kamusta? Today, I'll be showing you how to prevent your neighbors from connecting to your Wi-Fi router. Bigla lang ba bumabagal yung PLDT DSL nyo? Baka kanina nakakaw na ng neighbors nyo yung Wi-Fi connection nyo at yung internet connection nyo. So, today, I'll show you how to prevent that. Let's go! Okay, step 1. Punta muna tayo sa phone settings. As you can see, I'm using just my cell phone to do this method. You don't need any personal computer or laptop. Cell phone lang or tablet, pwede nyo nang gawin to. So next, check muna natin if we are connected to our Wi-Fi network. As you can see here, I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network. PLDT DSL na lintek. Okay, click back. And before we exit the screen, click the menu button at the upper right corner of your screen and click advanced now here we can see our mac address so para in uh, in layman's term para madaling maintindihan mac address is like the fingerprint of your gadget so walang ibang gadget na may ganitong address so for now take note of this our mac address is ending in uh, e06e -E. so i guess enough na yun to identify our MAC address, E06E. Okay, click back. And then, uh, go back home. And open natin yung ating uh, Internet Explorer. Any internet browser like Chrome or Firefox. Kayo bahala. I'm using Chrome. And then from here, enter this address, 192.168.1.1. Usually, ito yung default address ng PLDT my DSL routers so for the admin username enter admin for the password just enter 1234 that's the default password of uh, PLDT my DSL routers after clicking login click on the WLAN menu it will open the WLAN menu and uh, in the screen click the Show Active Clients button. Kita nyo, it's down below. Show Active Clients button. And you will see here. Anak ng pitong put, putong puting tupa. Bakit dalawa itong connected dito sa aking router? So as we checked earlier, our MAC address is E06E. So obviously, tayo to. Pero sino tong isang connected sa Wi-Fi ko? So basically, that's how you find out kung meron ba nakikiconnect sa Wi-Fi nyo na hindi nyo kilala. For example, dalawa kayo sa bahay nyo. Obviously, dalawa dapat makita nyo dito. But like me, I'm currently alone at home right now. So, dapat, I, can, I should only be seeing one MAC address. So, we have two options here. Paano natin block yung nagnanakaw ng Wi-Fi or internet connection natin? Either we block their MAC address which is the second one that you can see here or ang gawin natin, i-restrict natin yung ating router to only allow our MAC address which is E06E so close natin to and then go back to WLAN menu and click on the access control list menu oops, there we go now, as you can see here, meron tayong dalawang option. Wireless access mode, wireless access control mode. Number one is allow listed or deny listed. So, as I mentioned earlier, kung allow listed, yung mga enter natin dito na MAC address, yun lang ang papayagan niyang kumunek. Or, pwede natin gawing deny listed. So, lahat ng nasa enter natin dito sa listahan, i-deny niya. Now, pwede nating i-deny yung MAC address ng kapitbahay natin. Pero, para pag bumili siya ng bagong gadget? Or nang hiram siya ng ibang cellphone? Makakapasok na naman siya sa internet natin, sa wifi natin, para nakawin yung connection natin. So, uh, as my personal suggestion, mas maganda allow listed na lang. Tapos, enter natin yung ating MAC address, which is C0. C9 E08 Ito ba yung kanina? Nakalimutan ko na Balik tayo sa settings Para Para sure Para sure Para sure 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Advanced and uh, C0C9766E6B. Or may mas madali pang method. Just go to About Phone. Click on Status. And then Wi-Fi MAC Address. Hold nyo lang to. Automatic. Copied na siya. Now let's go back to our internet browser. Now ito yung medyo isa pang low tech dito sa mga router ni PLDT. As you can see. When you click paste here, putol. Dahil hindi niya na-accommodate yung semicolons. So, an easy fix to that is just paste the values here at the uh, address bar. And uh, you can edit the values here. Just remove all the colons. Edited use. But, wala tayong choice. That's how it works with PLDT routers. Okay. Nalinis na natin yung colons. Nalinis na natin yung ating colon. Wow. See what I did there. Uh, okay. Now paste. And yan. Malinis na siya. After that, just click on add. Again, make sure. Allow listed siya. Dahil pag naka... Deny listed yan, mabablock kayo sa sarili nyong router, which is the opposite of what we want to do. Okay, double check, allow listed, here's our MAC address, click add. Then, the router will uh, restart, but in our case, sorry na, na-save ko na siya. So, well, at least, uh, na-impress ako, at least matalino siya. The MAC address, medyo wrong grammar lang, has existed. Pero, ayun, huwag sabihin, nasa listahan na yung MAC address ko. And as you can see, allow listed na rin siya. But, uh, if you do that the first time, the router will restart. So, let's say, disable muna natin to. And then, apply changes. Yeah. See, it will restart in 20 seconds. And uh, what I did when I chose disable, basically, wala siyang ibablock, wala rin siyang if filter So, Everyone is free to connect to your Wi-Fi router regardless kung ano man yung MAC address nila. So, I did that just to show you how it uh, applies the settings. So, afterwards, i-enable ko siya, which is allow listed para walang ibang mga connect sa router ko na hindi ko kilala. And then, apply changes again. And then, there you go. So, that's how you change and block your neighbors from connecting to your Wi-Fi router and help stopping them from stealing your internet connection. So, if you have other questions or requests, just leave them in the comments below. Click subscribe. I have more tutorials coming up. And uh, see you next time. Only here on Lintic.